It's my favorite evening. I'm pacing around the floor. Got southern woods and waters gonna take me out the door. Got coffee on a perkin. I'm about to have some fun. They'll have my mind chasing some critter on the run. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Make me hear that sound of a fish that's breaking water or the bawling of some hounds. Make me smell that river mud, feel clean air on my face. Bring it on, southern woods and waters. Show me that special place. Probably about 11 inch proper. Good evening, everybody. We want to welcome you all to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. We've got a really fun show put together for you guys tonight, and it's one that we've been looking forward to for a while. Y'all hear us talk about the Tennessee Bass Nation quite a bit, and how you know how much we love it and how involved we've been with it. But tonight I've got a couple of anglers here with me that recently competed in the national championship that was hosted on Kentucky Lake earlier in November. And just to talk a little bit about the turnout, there was 247 boats that were in this tournament and 60 of those boats came from here in the Tennessee Bass Nation and when they got down to the bottom 12 five of those teams were from the Tennessee Bass Nation so really really neat great to be involved with that and tonight I want to go ahead and introduce our guest and they're from Scotts Hill High School and they're with the Scotts Hill student anglers and beside me I've got Braden Wilson and just beside him is Chandler Pruitt and these guys are going to be on here tonight talking about the year that y'all have had and, and specifically the national championship and um, just kind of we're going to get into a little bit later how you guys have been as successful as you have been um, just going to learn a little bit about you and we're going to try to pry a few secrets out of Mangway Dayton. We're <laughs> gonna, they're going to tell us something. Yeah. We're going to find out something but you know while we're kind of getting ready to do that we're going to go over to Kentucky Lake and check out day one and two of the national championship tournament. In November 2020, the Youth High School Bass Nation anglers all met up on beautiful Kentucky Lake to have this year's national championship. There was 247 boats full of excited anglers lined up and ready to go. And what makes us more proud than anything is that 60 of these boats are from right here in the great state of Tennessee. You just got inside by an ounce. Let's reach in there.
Jones in an ounce for fish. There were a lot of great bags brought in on this tournament. The kids did great catching fish. The ultimate goal though was to get into the top 12 teams. Those 12 would be fishing on day three to determine who was gonna be the national champion. Now you always hear us bragging about the Tennessee Bass Nation and the way that it's run and the directors and the great program that it is. We have to say, do a little bit of bragging here. Out of the top 12 teams, five of those teams were from in the Tennessee Bass Nation League. Way to go, guys. All right, got a limit coming across the stage. Mount Juliet High School, Brady Duncan and Mason Huddleston. Let's see if we can get this team inside the top 12. Looks like a good day of fishing. 19-3 would put you in first place. Five fish, 18 pounds, seven ounces, all the way up to second place for these guys. Mount Juliet jumping up that leaderboard. Ian Mason. Wow. Yesterday for this Scotts Hill High School team, Chandler Pruitt and Braden Wilson, they were in fourth place coming into today. You've only fallen to eight. If you need, if you get four fish, if you get seven two of these four, you take over the lead. Looking for seven two, eight pounds six ounces, and we have a new leader with a 23-7 two-day total. at Scotts Hill, Braden and Chandler, new leader. Scotts Hill High School out of Lexington, Tennessee, 23-7 two-day total. Some more up the rigs, Aaron and James, come on up. You might make a run at taking over the lead. We need 210 to get in the cut, 1214 to take over the lead. Looking for 1214. 11 pounds, 7 ounces. It's going to take you to third place with a 22 12 two day total. James and Aaron Riggs, 22 12, third place. Coming into today, Jackson County High School, Dylan Raglan and Mason Wade, and they're bringing four more up today. You fall into 24. You need 312 to get back inside the cut. 13 1 to take the lead. Four fish, nine pounds, 10 ounces, all the way up to sixth place, guys. Good job. Two day total of 20 pounds, 12 ounces. Nice job. 16 5. Come on up, Hunter Brewer and Cade Surratt. Three fish. This is important. You need one 14 to get inside the top 12. Three fish. Seven pounds, seven ounces, all the way up to sixth place for Lawrence County High School. Sixth place for Lawrence County out of Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. That moves left. They're going to fish until three. And then we'll be, we will be crowning the 2020 national champions right here at Paris Landing State Park. Tomorrow afternoon, starting at about 3.05, we'll weigh them in 12 to 1. It's going to be interesting to see who holds up the trophy at the end of tomorrow. Here's how it looks right now going into that day. First place, Briarwood Christian Academy, Aiden Marbot, and Tucker Smith with a two-day total of 39 pounds, 7 ounces. Second place, Lee County High School, 29-8, Clint Davis and James Hennemeyer. Third place, Brownsburg High School, Dylan May and Adam Troyer, 25-10. Fourth place, Childs High School, Blake Sparkman and Logan Sparkman, 24-4. Fifth place, Freedom High School, Hunter Keller and Daniel Brackett, 24-2. Sixth place, Lawrence County High School, Hunter Brewer and Cade Surratt, 23-12. Seventh place, Scotts Hill High School, Chandler Pruitt and Brandon Braden Wilson, 23-7. Eighth place, Mount Pleasant High School with 22-12. James Riggs and Aaron Riggs. Ninth place, Mount Juliet. Mount Juliet High School, Brady Duncan and Mason Huddleston, 21-7. Tenth place, Jackson County High School, Mason Wade and Dylan Raglan, 20 pounds, 12 ounces. Eleventh place, LCM High School, Dylan East and Mickey Ridgeway, 19-15. And the final team inside this top 12 cut, Brandon High School, Lake Northworthy and Aaron Abbott with 18-4. Top 12 I just called out. The cut has now been made. Again, we'll make it official, but you cannot solicit any information from anybody who did not make the cut. That's the key. We'll see you guys in the morning after we make this. 
All right, welcome back to the studio. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a pretty exciting first couple of days, guys. And uh, mm -hmm. just real quick, we're fixing to do the wild game forecast, but I got to ask, were you more nervous going into day three or more nervous going into day one? Definitely day three. <laughs> because because making it, making it to day three is, is really good. <laughs> well, I'm sure the nerves were, were rolling what oh, you yeah. guys found yes, up here in that top 12. Well, let's go on over and do this week's weekly wild game forecast. It's being sponsored by our friends over at Wilson Bank and Trust. You guys can stop in and see them at one of 28 Middle Tennessee locations. They've been providing all of your commercial and residential banking for over 30 years in Middle Tennessee. Be sure to tell them thank you for everything they do for us here at the show. All right, well, our forecast is looking pretty good, guys, on the deer hunting front. We've been talking about that for a couple of weeks, but uh, I'm going to ask uh, you guys, who wants to tell me what are the bass doing right now? I know y'all got a tournament coming up. Um, what do you think the general uh, movement of the bass is going to be right now with this weather and temperatures? I think it's, I think it's tough on everybody for sure because they, they really don't know what's going on with this weather just like we don't. Um, and it's just it's going to be tough on everybody. Yeah, you think they'll kind of change their... Uh, going to change their habits here in the next week or two, Chandler, or what do you think? I think so. I think if the weather can stay, can get a little bit colder and stay cold, they'll move out deep and they'll mm -hmm. get more on a crawfish pattern. Mm -hmm. Up until now, they've been on a shad pattern. And so I think when that weather finally cools off, they'll start making that transition out a little bit deeper and on that crawfish pattern. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's great. Well, guys, we want to remind you to follow us on Facebook. Get over there and catch up with us. You really want to get over there tonight if you haven't done it yet because we're going to be doing this year's Christmas giveaway. We've had a sign-up going on there for about a week now. We've got lots of people signed up. But you want to get over there and get signed up and qualified so you can be part of our giveaway this year. We've got a lot of great prizes just like always, so find us there. You can also check us out at SWWTV.com to see all of our past episodes and links to all of our sponsors. We'll be back here in just a minute with this week's Pictures of the Week and some more Southern Woods and Waters.